a hundred kilometers north of Managua lies Boaco, a town with 24,000 inhabitants. Half of Nicaragua's population lives below the poverty line. Every day the people here have to do whatever they can to make ends meet and provide for their families. But poverty is a vicious circle that is hard to escape. There is certainly no lack of initiative though. What people don't have is the money to start up a business. To meet the needs of this unusual clientele, the idea of microfinance was born, an important tool for combating poverty and opening the path towards autonomy. Microfinance institutions are at the core of this sector, such as here in Burko, the Jose Nyoborovsky Foundation. Las personas que están desempleadas, lo, lo que están buscando es cómo formar su propio negocio. Ese negocio es lo que le da el sustento para su familia y para mejorar su calidad de vida. Las personas comienzan con, con pequeños eh, negocios, este, con, con el microcrédito, pues se les apoya en lo que es le, le, lo económico y van fortaleciendo su negocio. The clients of these institutions are known as microentrepreneurs. They are seamstresses, people who own a small grocery shop or sell animals. Traditional banks view these people as too high a risk as they cannot offer guarantees on their loan and usually work on the informal labor market. Nuestros clientes no son personas que puedan garantizar un crédito, ellos no tienen garantías reales, pero a través de la metodología de crédito que adquieren la microfinanza se, se puede analizar bien la capacidad y la voluntad de pago de los clientes. Here lives Leon Donato. He is a client of the Jose Nyoborovsky Foundation. This modest building houses Leon, his wife and his four children. The entrance hall is a grocery shop. The garden is a pen for his pigs and the kitchen is where he slaughters them. Ten years ago, Leon had had enough of working on a big farm for a tiny wage. He decided to set up his first small business, the slaughter and sale of pork. He negotiated a first loan of about 80 euros. Today, he is on his 20th loan, which is worth about 1,200 euros. Half of the money goes to his business and half of it is used for home improvements. Eh, no teníamos cocina, pues. Todo esto lo hemos ido haciendo poco a poco. Ahí vamos avanzando poco a poco, eh, mejorando la casa. Antes, pues, no teníamos cuartos, no teníamos... La casa estaba en, en más peores condiciones. At the beginning, ambition was all that Leon had. No traditional bank would have given him money, but then he heard about the foundation. Microfinance institutions complete a client evaluation in order to assess the client's credit quality. They examine the client's motivation to work and also look at previous repayment patterns. For example, a credit of 5,000 Cordoba to a microempresario of commerce, the requisites are simple, right? We solicit the cédula of the debtor and the fiador. Solicitamos los recibos del agua, de la luz, del teléfono, de los servicios básicos. Si la persona renta local, no tiene casa propia, le pedimos los recibos. ¿Para qué le pedimos esos recibos? Este, para saber si realmente estamos ante un cliente de que le gusta pagar, pues que tiene cultura de pago. For microfinance, the client's determination to reimburse is more important than guarantees. Leon Donato has this determination. In 10 years, his house has grown and his business has diversified. To the meat business, a grocery shop was added. Another typical feature of microfinance is that the whole family works together. Every morning before going to school, Leon's children go to the market to sell meat. Esa es el éxito de ellos, digamos que el hijo o el hijo, la hija, la esposa. Todos ellos realizan las actividades comerciales, digamos, todos están involucrados en la actividad del, del mismo negocio, de la unidad familiar. Entonces, no hay, digamos, fuga de mercadería por personas ajenas. ¿Ve? Entonces, eso lo hace al microempresario ser exitoso, digamos, porque ellos son los que están, digamos, administrando su propio negocio. No hay personas ajenas en administrar su negocio. Y tienen, como dicen, un, ar, un arte de, 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 de administración. Once a month, Leon Donato goes to the foundation to make a repayment on his 1200 euro loan. With an interest rate of 34%, he pays back 50 euros per month. 
this fairly high rate is usual for microfinance. The reason is that the cost of lending such small amounts is proportionately quite high. With banks that don't want to lend and users that demand rates of 100 to 200 percent, Leon Donato has made his choice. The art of microfinance is to strike a balance between economic viability and social impact. Y con eso pues logro he logrado pues este superarme también digamos me da para los estudios de los de los niños y también para el mantenimiento pues de de la casa pagamos la luz pagamos todo pues. y, y ahí vamos poco a poco componiendo componiendo la casita. In the region of Boaco, the foundation has about 1,300 clients who, like Leon Donato, want to become independent. It manages a portfolio of 8 million euros and offers microcredits of, on average, 500 euros. 65% of the clients are women. These institutions have a higher repayment rate than traditional banks. For the foundation, for example, more than 98% of their clients pay back their loans. In order for this financial service with these unusual clients to work out, a good relationship with the client is essential. Credit agents like José Tomás play a fundamental role as the permanent point of contact with the client. The most important element in José Tomás's job, his motorbike. He regularly visits his clients in the most far-flung corners of the region. One of his clients, Doña Juana, would like an extra loan for this time of year. Porque viene la fecha de diciembre y entonces uno mete más mercadería porque el cliente busca más. Lo que estoy haciendo, lo que tengo que ver es, o sea, es a ver si han variado. Sí. Las las ventas la venta. semanales si han subido sí. o han bajado o ah. se encuentran estables. Entonces, con relación al último préstamo, a la fecha de hoy están estables. Microfinance institutions function on many levels in much the same way as traditional banks do, but the main difference and also the success of microfinance is due to the mutual trust between the client and the credit agent. It is a hands-on job that demands 100% dedication. Bueno, ¿qué es lo que me gusta de mi trabajo? Bueno, lo principal que me gusta es que he conocido bastante gente. He hecho bastantes amistades por medio del trabajo. Además de eso, además de eso que este es un trabajo en realidad que, que ayuda, ayuda a la gente más necesitada. Back at the foundation, all credit agents submit their reports to the credit committee in a daily meeting. It is during these meetings that a decision is made on whether or not to grant the loan. The agent's opinion and assessment are decisive. Su margen comercial es el 30%, su rentabilidad es 1.90 y su rotación de inventario es de 0.63. Client monitoring is done using a computerized system. If the committee approves a credit demand, the loan is quickly dispersed. The file is then passed over to the legal department and the check is issued within the next 24 hours. In order to grow, microfinance institutions need resources themselves. The institutions borrow money from development organizations and from traditional banks and investors. Axel de Ville represents ARDA, which translates as Support for Autonomous Development. It's a Luxembourgish NGO specializing in microfinance. Aujourd'hui, les investisseurs, quand ils voient des, des institutions telles que Nieborowski, ils voient qu'il y a un rendement possible, ils sont intéressés par le rendement financier et ils se rendent compte qu'en investissant dans la microfinance, il y a également un rendement social. Et c'est ce double rendement qui, qui intéresse aujourd'hui de plus en plus d'investisseurs socialement responsables. Established in 1993, the foundation today provides commercial resources to thousands of clients in a sustainable way. One of ARDA's roles is to work with these institutions by helping them to reach professional maturity. As a financial capital in the heart of Europe, Luxembourg is ideal for an NGO like ARDA that seeks to foster links between the world of capital markets and microfinance. ARDA is first of all LuxMint, a program managed like a starter fund designed to support microfinance institutions. Primarily financed by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, LuxMint is diversifying its resources, partly thanks to Luxembourg's banking sector. La microfinance est à cheval entre l'aide au développement, la lutte contre la pauvreté et le secteur financier. On parle de services financiers 
pour lutter contre la pauvreté. Et en termes de financement de ce secteur, jusqu'à présent, ce sont principalement les agences de coopération, les, je dirais, les fondations qui ont aidé le secteur de la microfinance à se développer depuis 30 ans. Et aujourd'hui, on remarque qu'une partie du secteur peut être financée par des investisseurs commerciaux. In this way, commercial investors and cooperation agencies are working together and complement each other. Je dirais tout le euh, la, la part du secteur euh, de la microfinance qui peut être prise en charge, qui peut être financée par des investisseurs commerciaux, quels qu'ils soient, eh bien, ce, ça, ça laissera d'autant plus de de possibilités pour les fonds publics, pour les agences de coopération, pour les ONG telles tel que ADA, de je dirais de, de travailler sur la partie euh, plus difficile du secteur de la microfinance, innover, euh, aller essayer d'encourager de, les, les institutions de microfinance à aller dans des zones qui aujourd'hui ne sont pas encore couvertes. For ADA, innovation is another important element. This is the role of CEREM, a microfinance research center. With the help of the internet, various publications and a library, CEREM assimilates the different experiences gained in microfinance around the world. Workshops regularly get the Latin American and African partners together. These workshops are destined to strengthen the skills of the microfinance institution's management. Samba Dia is assistant director for PAMICAS, a young Senegalese microfinance network that has grown extraordinarily quickly and now has more than 100,000 clients. On vient d'avoir juste une décennie. Et par rapport à ça, ce euh, séminaire présente une opportunité du fait que ça nous permet d'anticiper les difficultés auxquelles on devrait être confronté si on ne maîtrise pas la croissance, si on ne gère pas de façon rationnelle cette euh, croissance. But CEREM goes further than that and sets up pilot projects. Pourquoi Parce que le, le secteur de la microfinance est un secteur jeune qui est encore en pleine évolution, en recherche, et l'on pense qu'à travers... Euh, l'expérimentation de projets particuliers sur des cibles ou des types de produits bien précis, ça permettra de pouvoir décupler euh, le développement de ces institutions de microfinance en essayant de capter une nouvelle clientèle ou, mettre, ou en mettant en place de nouveaux produits spécifiques qui répondent le mieux aux aspirations, des besoins des, des clients de ces institutions. Innovating and testing new credit products, microinsurance or remittances is therefore essential in order to meet the needs of the clientele. One such pilot project is the professional startup scheme for young craftsmen in Dakar. In West Africa, microfinance works quite differently from Latin America. Very often here, credit and savings are linked. This shows that for the poor people, as for everyone else, the need for savings is just as important as the need for credit. The clients of a microfinance institution in Senegal have to open a savings account before they can apply for a loan they have to put down between 15 and 20% of the loan themselves. This immediately excludes a portion of the active part of the population from microfinance, young people for instance, who are unable to start out in life because of a lack of funds. Donc vous êtes sans ignorer que le Sénégal est un pays où il y a un nombre important de jeunes et que en dehors de ces jeunes, c'est des jeunes souvent qui ont des qualifications professionnelles, c'est des jeunes diplômés et ont des problèmes pour d'insertion sur le monde de l'emploi. Idrissa, Pap and Elaj did a training course in shoemaking at the Dakar Crafts Training Center. They decided to set up a business together. To set up a cobbler's requires workshop space, the machinery, tools, the raw materials and the molds to make the shoes with. This represents a considerable investment that they could not have made alone. If you demand a price of 5 million, they will tell you that you have an accord of 1 million ou bien 500 000 francs. Et si tu n'as pas les moyens, tu n'as pas vraiment les moyens d'accéder au financement. Like most of their fellow graduates, it was impossible for Idrissa and his partners to get a loan to get started. For some, the next option is emigration, but for the majority, the only option is unemployment. That is why Pamikas, with the help of ARDA, decided to set up a pilot project to finance these extremely high-risk clients. It is very risky because, first of all, it is about young people who are not yet launched in their life professional. Secondly, the type of financing that they need, we get to a high level of money. However, generally, in microfinance, we start with a small credit 
Et petit à petit, en fonction des bons remboursements, on augmente le montant du crédit. The young people who have received financing from the pilot project are accompanied by a PAMICAS advisor at all stages. Microcredits are, in principle, granted on a short-term basis. In this case, the product is a longer-term start-up loan with a more flexible system of guarantees and repayment schedule. Il faut trouver un différé parce que pour euh, une activité donc de micro entreprise qui est mise en place et qui vient de démarrer donc euh, nécessairement il faut un différé donc euh, de trois mois pour leur permettre euh, d'exercer l'activité de mettre sur le marché le produit et de pouvoir rentrer. donc euh, il y a eu des facilités par rapport aux apports donc euh, il ne verse pas d'apport en termes de garantie aussi nous prenons le matériel donc qui est acheté au niveau de l'équipement Idrissa and his partners are now in a position to buy extra raw materials. A big order for 200 pairs of shoes has just come in. Thanks to the loan, they have now the means to take on this business. The idea of this pilot project is to see how this financing product for young people works. This model will then be used on a much larger scale across West Africa in a continued effort to fight against poverty. PAMECAS, dans sa mission première, c'est l'amélioration du bien-être économique et, et social. Donc le bien-être économique et social des populations, ça passe par toutes, les tranches, par toutes les tranches de la population, que ce soit des jeunes, des moins jeunes, des femmes. Bon, et que la promotion, je pense bien, des jeunes contribue énormément à l'amélioration du bien-être économique et social. D'autant plus que si l'on sait que les familles africaines sont très grandes et que souvent dans ces familles, il y a une seule personne qui a une activité pour supporter l'ensemble des dépenses au niveau de ces ménages. Microfinance offers financial support to disadvantaged people who have shown initiative on their own. This is not a miracle solution, but does succeed in reducing poverty levels worldwide by combining autonomy, efficiency, financial viability and social impact. Idrissa, Pap, Elaj and Leon Donato work every day in order to become more independent. For them, microfinance represents an opportunity. Like millions of other entrepreneurs all over the world, they have plenty of ideas about how to build their future and the future of their families.